Hey there. Thank you for watching this clip on implicit differentiation. We're given an equation here, natural log of 8y equal to 4xy. Uh, implicit differentiation, it's really just a fancy way to say use the chain rule because I'm going to treat x, uh, pardon me, y as a function of x. So in our case here, in order to take derivative on this side, I have 1 over 8y, but we're not done yet. Okay, and I'm going to take derivative of 8y, which is really 8 times dy dx. Okay, is equal to 4, and then on this side I'm going to use product rule. Derivative of the first one, which is 1, leave the second one alone, plus leave the first one alone times derivative of the second one. Okay, then from here basically all the work is done, and all we have to do is gather all my dy dx. That's the gold nugget. So let's see if we can gather all of them together. I have dy dx, and here I have a 1 over y on this side, and minus, let's say I have a 4x on that side, okay, is equal to 4y. And once we get over here, really all we have to do is say dy dx is what I'm looking for, is equal to 4y divided by 1 over y minus 4x. This does not look that pretty. Let's see, we're going to uh, clean this up a little bit. Let's multiply by y top and the bottom. Then we have 4y squared, 1 minus 4xy. Now, if you want to, of course, you can put in that 4xy, where we're given that the very top is natural log of 8y. Now, this is probably not as necessary, um, but I do think it looks a little prettier dy dx is equal to this. All right? That's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please let me know if it was helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, have a confident day.